What we gotta do this? Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing a review on the CYMA CM022. Um, this is the gun right here. It's um about three feet long, I guess. Four, yeah, three feet, right? Mm -hmm. Um, been on a clip, obviously. It's an AK. It's uh, all plastic, and it's fairly light. ABS plastic. It's fairly light. It's like around two pounds, three pounds. Uh. It's it it's yeah it's it's more on the cheap side than the expensive side. I bought it when it was like twenty eight dollars. Now it's around fifty three, and so I got a good deal on it. It was a while ago, maybe a year ago, and I'm gonna be selling this gun. That's why I'm doing a review on it. Um, comes with a seven point two uh, battery. You just pop this down, then pull it out, and the battery is right there. You just click this button, comes out. Um, you can see. I'm trying to get that to focus on it. Uh, I think it's. I don't even know what that uh, is. Small it's type. Seven point two volt. Is it a small type? I think it's small. Might type. Might be large type. We don't know. Yeah, we don't even know. Um, so it's plastic wood. It's not real wood. Imitation. Yeah, it's imitation wood. And then the sa sa uh, safety, semi, and full auto. Now on most expensive airsoft AKs. This is semi, like, this would be auto, and this would be semi, but, um, it's like, I actually like it better like this, semi and then full auto. It just feels better for me. And then there's the, what is it called? Charging handle. Yeah, thing. charging handle. You can't really pull it back, it's just glued there, but it's like, it's for looks. It's for looks, yeah. And then it also has, um, this sight thing, but my stupid cousin broke it off. But it still works just as good. The sights still look nice. Um, just a hump here, but yeah. if you got to see over this here. Yeah, like that. That's exactly how it would be. And it still works just as good. Um, as you can see, there's some holes here just for design and all that. And then... You pull out the mag. Pull yeah. out the mag. You gotta push down on this right here. Yeah, there's um, a mag release. I'll show you when I put it back in. The mag holds around 50 BBs. It looks pretty long. big. Yeah, yeah, it looks big. I don't know why they couldn't have just made it much bigger. It this, hold more, but this, this holds 300 BBs. And, it, and, like, look at the size. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Wow. Um, but it, they probably just wanted to give you a cheap one. All right. It's wind up. And you load it in from here. Just close it, and then you just wind it up, and the BB should be right there. And then... Put it back in like this, like that, and then just to take it out, you just click that button, pull out. All right, so um, uh, the gun is 250 FPS, I think. I, I don't know. 240, yeah. It's more for looks. Yeah, it's more like looks gun. I I wouldn't really use it on battlefield except for like backyard yeah. and with friends and stuff. And it's a cheap gun, so it's like. It's more of like, I wouldn't use it as a main. I mean, maybe if just like, if you just want to mess around with it, yeah. Like, I have my D-Boys Full Metal M4, and I use that as my main. It's a much better gun than this, obviously. It's, yeah, it's right there. Um, and there is hop-up. It's right here. There's a little switch right here. This is hop-up off. This is hop-up on. And it just makes the BB... Not curve and all that. No, it makes it curve. Yeah, it makes it curve. That's what I meant. Sorry. Uh, um, I also wanted to add something, but I just right, forgot. What is it? I, just, I was about to say it. Here, wait. Give me a second. Well, the battery. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the disassembly of this gun is probably like different than normal AKs, probably because it's like on the cheaper side. Because with the cheap guns, you never know how to like disassemble them. It's always different, like spring guns. It, it's like, like System that. One gearbox. Uh, probably. I think it's version three. Version it's three. most likely version three, AK forty seven gearbox, yeah. And um, yeah, it just has just, a nice. It's, it's it has a nice plastic. hump. Yeah. Every, it has plastic. a nice hump right here for your hand. It's just hump. Yeah, it's good. Uh, All right, so um, right here also. We will be doing a shooting test later on. Yeah, I'll just shoot like one BB just so you can hear it, and then auto. It's like six BBs a second, probably. Yeah, probably. I have no idea. But and it doesn't sound that fast. Yeah, it doesn't sound that fast, but it is pretty fast. And then, 
Yeah. The just orange one tip, you probably can't even get it off. Yeah, it you like you actually can't. It's like you can spray paint it. Yeah. And then just one last thing, the uh, what's it called? The oh sling, yeah, the sling holder. It's right here, and right here. I think they're metal. Yeah, they they're metal. metal. All right, and what was that? Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and just for you the, that didn't know, the this is actually an unjamming rod. I just found that out uh, a couple of days ago. They I didn't actually even know that. It. I know. I just found that out too. <laughs> They keep it under here, so if you not if you ever just want to unjam your gun, if you're in battlefield or anything like that, it's actually it cool. The and there you go. Well, I've had this gun for a year and didn't know that. Oh wait, I might have put it in wrong. But whatever, you get the point. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Uh, he'll just put it back in. All right, so um, thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to look out for other videos on the way. My cousin's getting a very good gun, so we're gonna be doing a review on that. Alright, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.